When you go test drive a car, you get in the car with the salesman, you drive around, take the test drive. You get to drive the car, but they don't give you the keys. When, when you go look at a house you're considering to buy, you know, you go with the realtor and they open that little box and they open the door and you go inside, you tour the house. You get to walk through it, but they don't give you the keys. They only give you the keys when you buy it. Do you know what Jesus is saying to death in Hades? He's saying, I own you. I bought you. You no longer have power over anyone that's in me. I am the Lord of death and Hades itself. I rule over it. That means for all God's people, you and me, who are now in Christ, what can death do to us? That makes an unstoppable church. Can you imagine these Christians who stood before Pliny the Younger and he threatened them with death and they said, go ahead, take my life. You'll only be sending me to the one who I'm going to spend eternity with. What can you threaten me with? Nothing. We become an invincible church, an unstoppable church, a fearless kind of church, and that's what Revelation is meant to do. It's meant to stir us up and remind us who we serve, the Lord of all, the first and the last, the ruler of all kingdoms, kings on earth, the one who holds the keys to death in Hades. We serve him. He's our Lord and our friend and our king. And the only reasonable response to meeting someone like that is to come to your knees and say, command me. I'm living the rest of my life for you. You are my king. 